The five deadly shootings happened in a matter of hours and in the same general area. Montgomery County Police have set up a command center at the scene of the third murder in Aspen Hill. Our team coverage continues from there with Fox 5's Bob Barnard. Bob. Well, Tracy, Montgomery County Police Chief Charles Moose says the killer is a very skilled shooter who started his rampage around 520 last night, shooting out the store window of a business just about a half mile from here. It's the only one of the six shootings that didn't end in bloodshed and death. The unprecedented murder spree began last night in Wheaton. The victim, a 55-year-old man shot dead walking into the shopper's food warehouse on Randolph Road. The murder captured on a surveillance camera. 13 hours later, at Rockville Pike and Nicholson Lane, a landscaper is shot and killed. It's 7.41 a.m. Half an hour later, a cabbie is shot dead at this mobile gas station on Connecticut Avenue at Aspen Hill Road. Just a loud noise and he's laying in the parking lot, bleeding to death. A nurse fueling her minivan next to the taxi cab rushes to the victim's side. He will not survive. It started over there, went over there, and the guy's laying on the ground, blood all over the side of the van. He's laying on the ground, gasping for air, and the lady, she's standing there shaking. She was trying to help him. 25 minutes later, a little more than a mile away at Leisure World, a woman is murdered while sitting on a park bench in front of a post office. A witness to this shooting tells police he saw two men flee in a white delivery truck. Unbelievably, while the Montgomery County Police Chief and Deputy State's Attorney arrive at the gas station in Aspen Hill, the killer targets another woman at a Shell gas station on Connecticut Avenue in Kensington. Paramedics rush to the scene but cannot save the woman's life. It's always shocking when you, when you get a call like that at any, at any point in time. Um, it's certainly not good when it's right here in your own backyard. Investigators say they're all but certain the same gunmen are responsible for all five murders. We strongly feel that all of these are connected. Uh, certainly the weaponry seems to be very similar. Not a lot of evidence. There's no indication at this point that these individuals know each other. There's no indication that any of these individuals had any kind of conflict with anyone. The search for the killers, an all-out effort all across the region. We have called in other resources. We have uh, members of the Secret Service, FBI, Maryland State Police, Georgia's County. They are they're actually up with their helicopter. Uh, members of Maryland uh, Metropolitan Police Department and the state's attorney's office is actually here with us as well.